Anchors Away 90 Second RV Park Reviews. Here's your host, Brent. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Brent. This is Anchors Away RV 90 Second RV Park Review. Uh, we're at uh, Cypress Hills uh, Provincial Park in Saskatchewan. Now first off the bat, I've got to tell you, this is going to take a little bit longer than 90 seconds. Uh, this RV Park, Provincial Park, it's got a lot going on. So let's go and have a look and see what it's about. We are on the way. All right, so keeping in uh, line with the format for the 90 second reviews, the campsites all have like 30, 50, uh, 20 amp outlets. They've got water, they do not have a dump. There is, however, uh, a few dump sites around the campground because the campground is absolutely massive. Each RV site, of course, has the tables and the fire pits and barbecues. Now, the bit that's going to take some time is all of the stuff that is here. Now, each site has uh, pit toilets and they also have a shower block with flush toilets. The park for RVing is only open during the summer months. Now, the activities that you can do here are unbelievable. You've got the, um, all the water sports down in the lake. We're up on the hill here. At night, they have an observatory and they run a program for children, but um, you know, the adults can go along as well. They've got a 15-inch uh, uh, telescope, and then they've got a few Dobsonian telescopes, uh, which are like 10 and 12-inch telescopes, which they can carry out. Um, very good program. The program runs for about three hours. It starts at about seven and runs for as long as you want to be there. And if the skies are clear, the, the people will stay and will continue to observe things um, if you want to hang around and do that. They have water sports down in the lake and you can hire canoes and paddle boats and do all of those things. Something that we found really interesting, they have a heated swimming pool. Now the swimming pool is open from about 9 o'clock in the morning until about 5 o'clock in the afternoon and then it's booked by tour groups, uh, so big groups like um, children's camping groups and school groups and things like that can book an hour uh, for themselves after that 6 o'clock period and then I think it runs through till about 9 o'clock. They have a general store where you can buy all manner of stuff. Um, it's actually about 5,000 steps for us to get down to the general store and then another 5,000 to get back up the hill. So we walk down the hill, we buy an ice cream and walk back up the hill. Um, a little bit of a bonus for doing our, our daily steps. Halfway down the hill, however, there's a pizza joint. So you can go in there, buy a slice of pizza, ice creams, do whatever you like. If you only want to do half your walk, and then you can stop there and have, to have a meal. They've got three cafes down at the bottom of the hill as well. They have a lot of walking trails. Now, we've been lucky enough. We've seen um, uh, some deer as we've been wandering around the park and wandering around on our walking trails. Uh, we've got to keep on getting those steps up. They have a number of areas that are allocated for the collection of firewood. There's huge mounds of firewood. You just turn up there with your vehicle, load up the boot of your car, head back to your campground, and uh, the, the, there's a never-ending supply of uh, wood for your fire. You cannot take the firewood away, of course, because there's issues with the uh, parasites that live under the bark. So you have to use it at the site or leave it at the site when you leave. Now, the park is still open all year round. You can have accommodation in cabins or lodges that are here as well, um, but there's no tent camping and no RV camping during the winter months. The campsite has a petrol station on site. You can buy diesel and um, premium and regular fuels. They also have things like baseball diamonds, golf course, pickleball. I don't actually know what pickleball is, but they've got one of those here as well. There are tennis courts available if you want to go and play a game of tennis. And of course, like any decent uh, uh, provincial campground, they also have the ability for you to bring your horses up here and go on horse rail. Uh, horse rail, horse rail, horse rail rides. <laughs> they also have the ability for you to bring your horses in here and go on trail rides as well. So there you go, guys, there's our extended 90 second campground RV review. Hope you enjoyed it. 
See you next time and come and stay at this campground because it's fantastic. Thanks for watching Anchors Away RV Park Reviews. See you next time.